Hey, take a look what I have going on here. I have all these speakers. I have grills for the speakers, enclosures for the speakers. There's 20 of these suckers here. And I have a new cabinet, a new receiver. This isn't the receiver. They're all Bogans. Bogan speakers, Bogan receiver. Here's the receiver I'm actually gonna use here on the laptop. But check this out. What I'm gonna do with these speakers, I'm gonna set these up throughout my whole backyard. This is gonna be where the radio is gonna go. When the door is shut, the receiver will stick out flush with the door, maybe an inch or so past the door. That way, you don't have to open the door to get in there to change the station, adjust the radio. And up here, you can see the grill. Marked out. That's where I'm going to put a speaker. Yeah, check it out. I have an example. You want to hear a little bit about this? It's a 70 volt system. It's a little different than your standard, um, regular household receiver. Okay, we're in my backyard, in the side of my back garage. I'm going to put a speaker up here. I'm going to put one here at the corner. Three more going along this edge here. I'm going to put three on my shed. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to get the new, the new speakers mounted up here like so. All right, and this is some drywall mud. They're free, that's what it cost me, free. So this was 50 or 60 bucks. It's a low voltage system. And I have some paint here. I'm gonna paint all the grills. I'm thinking I'm gonna paint them all aluminum. Okay, and now just for the sake of making a video, I put wire nuts in each speaker just so you can kind of see some of the bass reflex. It sounds so much better, clear, and like powerful now. Um, well, here's the speaker bar that I got. You'll see it's made by Coleman. Come over here, CL3. Direct burial and sun resistant. Start painting a grill. Here's one of the cages I made. And I'm thinking at each corner I'm gonna put one of these speakers. That'll have speakers. Don't break cage. That'll have speakers. And here I have it. Let's go inside and take a look at how it looks. That is sweet. So free camera that I got. It's a used one. But I think it's pretty cool. This cabinet here is going to go in my shed. Well, anyhow, this is going to go in my shed, like I said. And all the speakers, 20 of them, are going to be mounted outside. So if you want to see how I do this and you want to listen to it at the end, check it out. Just keep on watching. Hope you like it. Believe me, I've been doing it for years and years. You get paint when it's cold in the winter. It doesn't really matter. Well, it's all loaded up. Now I've already primed it with five black rust -oleum oil based oil. skirts. Okay, we're back in here. Guess what I got today? I just got a brand new Bogan receiver right here. Now remember when I was talking about that bird that I was gonna get? Here he is, he's pretty sweet. All right, here I am in the garage. I'm gonna clean him up. And then I'm gonna proceed in making these speakers, outdoor speakers. All right, before I show you how I'm gonna make my indoor speakers, outdoor speakers. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple layers of clear on. Yeah, I was just kidding about actually making these outdoor speakers. You could kind of help a little bit with some of this. Very sensitive trigger. These are all gonna get installed outside of my backyard. Yeah. Mounted something like this. In fact, I'm gonna have a long detailed video. These are the fasteners that I'm using to secure the so wire. I went ahead and figured out what wattage I wanna use. Hear that? It's almost like it's on a piston of some sort and it needs to be lubricated. Got it hooked up. I plan on putting a speaker in these vents here. Okay, this here is those vents on the inside looking up and you can see a speaker temporarily mounted up here facing outward. For demonstration purposes, it's looking good. Toggle switch hooked up to the stereo. You see that? Now I got some other stuff going on out in the back here. Got a couple things hooked up. A speaker up here. This is the wood that I'm going to use. I'm going to add onto this fence here. Now I still have to take that wire and put it on inside the garage so that it's not visible. You see, I have the speaker there. And this one over here is Miss Eve. This will be what it looks like when you're looking up. You know, I guess another good color would be to match this red here. And I happen to have some stain that's already that color. They mix this for me too, by the way. Now with any wood project I do, I kind of take my time. Okay, I have four different styles for the speaker post. Here's the second she one. She likes that the top piece is heavy duty. I like that it looks sleek, <laughs> custom, unique, and in my opinion, it still looks right. Yeah, let's hear your guys' thoughts. They're more or less gonna be in the trees. You might recognize this from before. Cut this on the table saw at four inches. Is this. Here's the speaker, the grill, the enclosure. Now, rather than putting this out there in the direct sun, letting the sun be down on it, I figured the best thing to do is to somehow protect this area. Because it's my project, I get to choose, in the end, 
And this is the one that I pick. And it shoots the sound out towards the area that I want to have it go to. When water gets on the side and it comes down, it'll be able to drip off. Flat from a wine barrel. What I did was I put the screw heads in here and I painted them. So this way when I do mount the speakers, I'll have matching screw caps. Locking in all the holes and gaps. Okay, I finished the speakers. Here's pretty much what it looks like, upside down. They are ready for exterior use. It'll match, I won't have to repaint the whole room. Need for the antenna. Did it, I finished the speaker project.